All right. So, I know this is my automotive channel, but this is mechanical, right? So I moved here. It's a GE box, 1978. Home inspection, everything done. Of course, long story, everything was A-OK. -okay. Um, so, have been having uh, electrical heater issues. Even in the summertime, I've noticed they've been on. And I'm like, why? You know? So, then in the winter, of course, you get some that work, and some of the thermostats have been changed to the digital style, so it'll be flashing. I'm like, oh man, when we lose power, the heater will be off, and I have to set it and turn it on, and all that stuff. Then there's times that the digital panel for the temperature is off. I go over and fill the heater, the heater's on. So I go over, and of course, these are the electrical um, double pole 20, 20 amp um, for the 240 volt uh, heaters, electric heaters in the house. And I come over here, I'm like, oh, they're all on. No. If I shut them off, like shut, say I shut this one off, you think it's on. It is on. Well, what happens? It will stay in this position. And for whatever reason, I have to come over here and push hard and now here click again so I'm replacing these I'm starting here I had went and checked them all before so not sure why it's happening because the old it could be because it's in the garage I don't know why I know it's because of cost you know they mount this on an exterior wall in the garage where it should have been on the interior wall and the mast should still stay on this side where the meter and the wire should go through the loft of the garage and your two inch LV plastic pipe down to the meter should be over there. I mean, but yeah, it costs more money to run the wire. So I get it. So I'm gonna take this off and show you how to replace the breaker. It's a GE, you gotta make sure you get the right one. I mean, you know. So of course, probably lost most of the attention span of today's generation they probably already switched off the channel which is all cool I'm here to teach entertain not to be liked and so also this is probably going to show you I'm going to demonstrate the way to ignorantly overconfidently just throw it in type deal and no I'm not an electric a licensed electrician and uh, don't use these inside the box. Make sure you have a good workspace, not like this, because I'm just stubborn and I'm going to do whatever I can to move the least amount of things out of my way to make my job that much more challenging. These will fall off sometimes, the covers. So don't just let it go like that. They can fall down, make a big boom. Then you have someone coming up, what happened? And uh, never, never enclose a box and build it into the wall. This is stupid. And they don't always come off like that. Now see, I shut the, I shut the power off and I'm gonna turn it back on. So that's what I'm saying about how you can't just let these fall. So I'm going to demonstrate everything wrong to do. So don't put your hand in a live box like this. So these are the ones I'm going to change. I have another video that I didn't upload of me coming in here and tightening up several of these loose um, neutral wires and ground or common wire. Some of the breakers that have been replaced over the years. Um, I don't know if you can see from the video. I'm not adjusting it. There's some of these newer ones are shiny Have been replaced before They were loose. I mean, I, I get it. It's in the garage. These do heat up. They cool down. It is It's just copper. So it's gonna it's gonna flex. It's a soft metal soft precious metal so I'm out of a screwdriver 
one of my great workbench I have here. So here's the big screwdriver. So the one I was having a problem with, it's going to start off with this one. Now shutting this breaker off, the heater, it does nothing while this main power source is still on. And normally to get these out, you just, you wiggle like you, you see this is on a, it's on a lever. I mean, they, they push in pretty hard, um, but this is where the pivot point is. So they're going to come out like this, and then they're going to come out like this. You're going to go in, and you push them in. So that's how they come out. A lot of times you can't just pry in here and disconnect it, um, but I'm going to just do it hot. I don't know if I can get the screwdrivers too big to go in there. So, be right back. I'll just run my mouth in the background so you guys don't leave. As I'm climbing over all my stuff because I was unprepared, I'm going to have to change these today. But, that's life. Here I have a little, a little more screwdriver here that I can use. Ugh, there it is. A non-electrical screwdriver, plastic handle. Oh yeah, and as a mechanic, you see it's, oh, it's just full of grease and dirt and grime and everything else. <laughs> Maybe I should put a mask on it. Just, I mean, you have to be a little bit common sense. Don't touch things in here. You know, don't, don't put the screwdriver across anything. Don't just put your hands all up in there. I mean, be a little cautious unless you really know what you're doing. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the wire. I got my neutral wire out. Now, when you pull the wire out, make sure it doesn't touch anything else. Now, you notice how the first mistake I did was I unloosened them both. Now it's gonna cause both to come out and they possibly could touch. So I gotta hold the one in, I'm gonna pull the other one out. And I have it up and out. I'm gonna kinda of keep my hand on this one. I'm gonna pull the black one out. So there it is, black and white. I'm gonna pull them apart and keep them out. These are dead. So normally you don't have one of these fancy panty little tools. You kind of just put your fingers on them like this, you see? And you see if they're dead. But just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna turn this thing on, I just bought it. Oh look, the battery's low. <laughs> so you put this by this, see? Oh look, it's saying it's, it's hot. It might just be picking up the air power. Maybe it is hot. Maybe I'm just dead electrifying. It could be because I'm close to the box, so this whole thing is going to show hot. Everything in here. Of course, those. I don't even know how to use this tool. And it shows. But it came with the new meter I need because my meter broke working on the cars. Alright, so now I can just grab this. These are difficult to come out. I don't like using the screwdriver to pry them out, but I've had to do that before. A lot of times I'll use a piece of cardboard in between here so I, to soften it so I don't crack because these are plastic. Of course, uh, I'm unprepared, so I'll use the cloth of my shirt. Because I don't, see, what I don't want to do is as I'm pushing on this one, I don't want to take the other side out. So I have to push hard on the other side adjacent as I stick my shirt down in the slot. Good. 
Guys are like, man, this guy's a freaking idiot. What an idiot. Oh my gosh, I hope he gets electrocuted to zaps. It'll be fun. Man, that'll get his YouTube station up. It'll go viral. It's not going to happen. So here's the one I'm replacing. It's a uh, General Electric. I just don't know. I'll try to get a year off of this, but it's probably so old. I mean, you can't hear it. It sounds good there, but when I come up, you hear how I clicked after I went up? You can feel it's grindy in there, like sand. You hear it click again? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Here's the old one. You won't notice until you really get them in your hand. Don't worry about the shaking, the rattle in there. See how it double clicked? <laughs> well, obviously there's two here, but they're on a pole. There's a little pin in there that holds them together. I'm telling you this is bad. It's worn out. So now to put the new one in, and I did ask in the store because my old ones, um, say 20 on both, that was this supposed to be a 20 or a 40? 40 would be 20 plus 20 is a 40 on a single, but they assured me it wasn't. And so I was trying to look where it says, you know, PP20, and I got this old one here. It says it's a 40. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. At least I'm downsizing, not going up. So here's the new one. Now to put them in, like I said, just is a lever action. It goes N, and you push N like that. So I'm going to find the groove. Oh, yeah, make sure you're not, you know, wearing all your rings and stuff. <laughs> so I have it in the groove. Now I'm going to hold the other side. I'm going to push this N. All right, so that's a nice tire fit, and I'm going to shut it off. And you know the power's on. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, what went, was the white wire first or the black wire? White wire, black. Well, in a 240 situation like this, 220, whatever, they're both hot. So, I'm going to say it wouldn't matter, but it does, but it doesn't. But I'm going to, the white went on the top, the black went on the bottom. Because it kind of found kind of follow the lead coming down, but that's how I did it. So I'm going to start the black one I took out last. That's what I'm going to put in first. I'm going to keep this one out of the way. Oh, and you got to make sure that your screws are on. Make sure that the screws that the wires go into are loosened enough to give yourself enough space. <laughs> I got to double check. I forgot to check and see that. And they're tight. So yeah, I gotta loosen them up in order to get the wire in there. Not a whole lot, but just enough. So yeah, if you think this is uh, amusing, stupid, ignorant, or whatever, give it a thumbs down. I found out that with the YouTube algorithm I can't even spell that works better with thumbs down than thumbs up so I'll go behind this other wire I'm gonna stick this in the hole I'm just watching this wire so it doesn't um, touch anything so I want to make sure I'm in the teeth and I'll show you what that was. So that was in the teeth. So here, here's the new one. What I mean by the teeth? Here, this will. Yeah, I keep loosening that screwdriver. And I don't know if you if you can see this, but as I'm loosening up the new one, so this screwdriver is actually too big for this, too. All right, here we go. As this is loosening up. got to go in there so loosen this up I mean I've 
done this with all different. I've used Square D. I've used Siemens. I've used these GEs. Um, that, I mean, I've done these. I've watched people do these. So, I mean, you just got to be careful. So, the wire fits in that slot on the bottom. I caught the teeth. Actually, I don't think I have this one out enough. Okay, yep, it's in there. So I'm going to tighten that down. See how my screwdriver just slipped and I went forward a little bit? That's why you're supposed to use an insulated screwdriver. You really should have safety glasses on. You should have the right hand protectant. And to be honest, unless you really know what you're doing, this main power should be off. But I'm demonstrating the, oh, let's just go throw this, I'm just going to go throw this, uh, this new breaker in. Or, or when I mentioned this over the summertime, I had somebody say, oh yeah, yeah, my dude, my dude could, could change those for you for like $300. I go, oh, that's a pretty good price because, you know, you could change six of them. These are 10 bucks each tax and all that so the guy is going to basically once like 250 or 240 plus tax i'm like all right yeah no to save me an hour this will actually take me an hour because i'm slow to save me an hour to no i run a little small business too and um yeah no i'm not going to pay someone 240 bucks an hour to do something i can do that doesn't need a uh i don't need to be a licensed electrician to do this I put in my whole new panel box and wired my other house. So <laughs> that's why I'm doing it the way you shouldn't be doing it. So make sure these are tight. And what you're going to do too is carefully pull back, tug on the wire to see if it's, if it's going. And you can see this black wire I should have showed you. It's tagged white. So it's indicating that these are hot. So these are all going to be hot down the series of this, this line. So I'm going to turn this on. Double. I just like to make sure they're, they're cranked tight. Not too tight. I want to break the plastic housing that's in here. And I haven't heard anything from the house inside. Anyone running out. Oh my gosh, there's a fire. The power went out. Blah, blah, blah. So that's basically it. How you change a breaker. Just have to be careful. This... See, some of you guys might look like spaghetti, but this, compared to what I've seen, this is actually pretty neat. There's no shortcut wires. Everything has a nice 12 inch loop. I mean, it's very, it, this is clean from what I've experienced over the years as a mechanic. So, um, I am eventually going to run, uh, was, my electrician friend was here yesterday. He helped me with some stuff. I didn't have the time. And that's what prompted me to go do this today. But I'm going to add a panel box just for this garage, anything outbuildings I might need. So I'm going to, I have one empty slot here, so I'm going to kind of move this stuff up. Just take it off, put it on. I'll have a double slot down here. I'm going to run a double, I don't know if I can get a 60 or a 100. And I'm going to run the two wires off, the two hots off this, and obviously a ground, uh, a common wire and a ground through the box. To another panel and I'll start wiring new into the garage um, so that's I mean I'll use the garage wires I have here put them into your box but I'm gonna start wiring new because there's this garage is too overloaded um, yeah never enclose a box like this because now if I have to go pull wires through here I have to bust this drywall up so I can get here because on the back side there's a I like to call them worm clamps it's an electrical clamp that there's a there's a nut on this side so you pull wires through, you could lose that. You have to have access to that. I don't even know if this should be, even be code to enclose, to drywall up to this. There should at least be an access panel. And I know there's a stud right here. So they probably went right between the studs. So just, <laughs> it should be outside the wall. So you can get to it. That's just my opinion. All right, thanks for watching. And if you think that this was very comical, um, stupid, or hilarious, amusing, Give it a thumbs down. Here, let me give a close-up.
So this is the one I changed. Uh, this is a new one. You can see it's only got the one, um, well you can't see, probably can't see, but it's only got the 120 on there, not two. So I'm going to change this one, this one, this one, and that's it. And I'm going to change, it looks like somebody, because it has the uh, newer screws, someone had changed this one before for the rec room, but um, I don't know. To me, I, maybe I'll leave that one alone, but I am definitely going to change these other um, three here. One, two, one, two, three. Uh, and then I'm going to go from there, but yep, this is my, I think it's a 200 amp service. I'm not sure, but it's from 78. Oh yeah. And here's my workspace just to go show. Oh, look, there's an exhaust there. There's a, oh, look, there's my little wood pile. Um, see, look at this very nice. Look, look at the reach I had to do on that one. How stupid. Thank you for watching till next time.